Hey, Kyle Leon and John Barbin here today with some advanced fat loss tips and tricks for all the ladies at home that would like to accelerate their fat loss results. Because truth be told, women have a lot more difficult time losing weight and it's just a genetic truth. It's evolution. It's something that we can't avoid, but there are some things we can do to actually speed up a female metabolism that a lot of people do not talk about. The fitness information out there does not talk about because it's relatively new research, correct John? Yeah. Uh, one of the major differences is women's hormones tend to fluctuate much higher and much lower than guys. And specifically when a woman's dieting, uh, her number one fat burning hormone crashes a lot faster than a guy's. And so that, they end up hitting a plateau and they can't lose any yeah. more weight. And I'm sure all the ladies at home that have tried to diet with their man or with a friend or with their husband the exact same way as the guy probably hasn't experienced the same fat loss results and has probably hit that fat loss plateau a lot quicker. That's something that a lot of women write in and experience. And that's because of their body's number one fat burning hormone crashing and dipping a lot more than their guys. And there's some good news with that though. Yep. Um, women get to eat up more and have more frequent cheat days uh, to kind of deal with this crashing and that gets them out of the plateau and gets them burning fat again. Well that's one trick we use. Also another trick that we like to use with our female clients is the fact that well between carbs and fats women tend to utilize their fats a lot more efficiently than their carbs. So simply substituting out carb calories for fat calories can go a long way into accelerating the fat loss results of a female. Mm -hmm. Correct. Yeah, and that works, that works with the hormones going up and down and works mm -hmm. to balance it all out. Uh, moving forward with all of the estrogen in the environment, we know that estrogen promotes weight gain and fat gain. There's so much more estrogen in the environment today that we never ever asked for between herbicides and pesticides and processed foods. We have to do what we can to avoid guys and girls, but specifically women, we don't want their estrogen levels any higher than they have to be right. at this point. And so one of the things you can do there is remove any extra estrogen promoting foods from your diet that don't need to be there. And one of the major ones is soy. And soy shows up all different ways, like edamame, tofu, even soy proteins. Your so Starbucks, your soy lattes. Soy lattes. It just goes on. Yeah, it's an option that keeps showing up. And you just don't need that with all the extra estrogen that you can't get rid of that's mm -hmm. coming in from the environment. So one simple thing you can do is substitute those forms of uh, soy out for other things like whey protein or different proteins. Yeah, that's a very, very easy fix. Eliminating some of these estrogen promoting foods from the diet can go a long way into just, you know, accelerating the fat loss results by itself, period. Mm -hmm. Yep. Um, I think those are some cool little nutrition tips that a lot of viewers at home probably aren't really aware of. And I know that there's some training stuff that we should talk about as well. Mm -hmm. Do you want to do that? Yeah, for sure. Um, one, of the, one of the major things is a difference in intensity between men and women with training. Women seem to do better with moderate training levels, both with their weight training and their cardio. So guys, on the other hand, can go much more intense with training, but then can go much lower intensity with cardios. Mm -hmm. So it's sort of like guys go to the extremes, but women tend to work better and burn more fat when they stay in the moderate intensities for both their weight training and their cardio. What about length of a workout? Is there any genetic difference that we found to be more beneficial for a, a female trying to lose fat compared to a man? Um, or is it more just the intensity? I think the intensity is most important. Now that intensity works in itself into the length of the workout, but women can actually train long than men if they want to, but it's the intensity that's more important. Okay, gotcha. Um, moving forward, we know that there's some exercises that women just do not need to do. They just don't need to do them. Um, they're probably the least favorable exercise for fat loss anyway. Yeah, and well, I think, yeah, number one is the Olympic lifts. I see a lot of trainers nowadays um, training people in the Olympic lifts, things like a clean and jerk, a push press overhead, a really ballistic stuff that ends up building up um, the trapezius, like really makes, creates a thick neck look and like yeah. big, they don't need to be doing big shoulders. That. They don't need to, probably don't, they don't need to be doing deadlifts. I don't recommend deadlifts for them, Olympic lifts, shrugs. shrugs. Yeah. Um, anything of that nature, the heavy compounding movements are not usually necessary. No, it's not, it's not going to give you a bounced look. It's going to give you an overly thick upper body look, kind of like a male bodybuilder. Mm -hmm. um, so that's, that's definitely exercises to stay away from. And it's not going to help with getting the heart rate up or burning fat. Now, one I see women do all the time in the gym that I really recommend against are sort of weighted abdominal, weighted core exercises, weighted oblique exercises that are gonna do nothing but widen the waist. Yeah, now that, yeah, that's a big mistake and a, a big misconception that somehow training your abs and training your abs more often and heavier and heavier is mm. gonna make them leaner and smaller, no. but in reality, it just makes you blockier and thicker through that area and it makes, it'll actually make your waist bigger. Mm -hmm. So uh, what we, we recommend, a tip, is to do whole body exercises that train your upper body, your lower body, and your core all at the same time and all in balance, and that will keep your, your ab area tight and your waist area tight instead of thickening it up.
Okay, cool. So let's quickly review some of the tips that we covered for female fat loss today that is not really out there in all the magazines or publications. Starting with nutrition, one, okay, women can incorporate a few more cheat days a little bit more frequently to spike their body's number one fat burning hormone, which tends to go in the tank right. a lot quicker than guys. Number, number two, uh, substitute some of your carbohydrate calories out for and put in fat calories. That's and a big one. That'll help balance your hormones and you'll be more efficient at burning fat that way. And thirdly, it's a good idea to avoid any more estrogen promoting foods and compounds that aren't really necessary. We get enough of it in the environment as it is. Mm -hmm. Estrogen makes fat loss more difficult. Um, soy based foods, soy based proteins, soy lattes, edamame. Limit that stuff could probably help you guys out a long way. Uh, and then for the exercise tips, uh, number one, stay away from the Olympic lifts, uh, shrugs, deadlifts, and high pulls, those sort of things. It'll give you kind of a thick neck and upper body look. Uh, number two, um, exercise intensity. You can be moderate with your weights and moderate with your cardio instead of on the extremes. And number three, stay away from weighted core exercises that'll just make your waist thicker and blockier. Very cool. I hope that uh, that helped all the ladies out at home. And for any further fat loss information and ways to enhance and boost the female metabolism, definitely check out Venus Factor Fat Loss.